Hello, thanks for watching. I'm Joe Crowley. Today I'm joined by the very talented baker and winner of the Great British Bake Off, Candice Brown, and also quilt achievements, Jason Stolte. When we're talking about degenerative disease, you know, terminal disease, it's often people would think there isn't any hope or there's not things they can do, but actually there are many things in terms of awareness, in terms of making life more possible, more supportive for those suffering with it. Now, Court Achievers are taking dementia very seriously. Tell me about their efforts in this area. Yeah, absolutely huge. The, the average age of our, of our client is 64. And uh, I'm not quite sure the statistic, but d dementia can start quite, quite early as well. Mm. So um, that puts a lot of potential clients um, in, the, in the spotlight to, to, to be potentially a vulnerable client as well. So it's hugely important for us to, to be aware of that. And um, we, we work with our clients in trying to identify uh, that potential vulnerability. Did you feel people understood when you were both going through it with your dad, with your granddad? Did, did people understand what you were going through, do you think, at the time? For me and our family, I don't think so. I think it was a, at least a while ago, and I think now it's the understanding is so, so much better. I think it was very, very hard to see my nan having to battle for, for any sort of help and things like that. And it was just, there wasn't enough being put into it and money sort of going elsewhere. And actually, I think now the understanding is so much better that actually they do realise that it is well, now the biggest, mm. the biggest killer in mm. the UK. Yeah, we're taking it very seriously. Um, we're currently going through a screening process whereby uh, we're going to contribute 150,000 sterling uh, over three years to uh, our specified selected charity, Dementia Aware Alzheimer's Society of our choice. At the same time, we're running a, a big initiative throughout our, um, our company and then into the community. Uh, initially, through our company, uh, we have uh, a number of what's called dementia champions, so one or two members of staff from each, each office. Uh, we have 13, 14 officers around the UK, and they're being trained up as dementia champions to be dementia aware. Those champions will then send the same message via a presentation to our, all the staff throughout Quilter, so they will then become dementia friends, and we'll all as a company be uh, dementia aware. Following that, uh, myself and all the dementia champions and the various officers will then go out into the community and deliver the same message through our presentation uh, throughout to, uh, to our clients, company clients, um, helping everybody to be uh, dementia aware throughout society. That's amazing. So a tremendous yeah. sort of network of awareness spreading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, for a financial organisation like Quilt Achieve you, you know, people must be coming to you in terms of advice in the future, in terms of power of attorney and, and planning their finances. I mean, it must be very relevant, particularly when you're dealing with families who are struggling with dementia at the moment. It is, yeah, absolutely. It's, it, it, it's very key. So now, um, as people are being trained, they're being more aware. Uh, we can start having these conversations uh, with our clients. Because you both have really personal experience of how families can struggle with this. And someone that hasn't been through it just might not have that sensitivity and actually you know how appreciated that sensitivity is for the family going through it. We need to be aware and I think we're very lucky now in that awareness is, is increasing I think all the time mm. um, even from when Grandad was first diagnosed to, to now the, the, the difference is remarkable um, but I think we can still do more, there can still be more awareness, there can still be more information, there can still be more money, more research and hopefully kind of that end goal of, of it not being the biggest, mm. the biggest killer in the UK, bearing some, something along the line that, that can help, but to have information and to have that support along the way is, is, is gonna be so beneficial, it really, really is. Yeah, so staying on the front foot in terms of raising money, in terms of raising awareness. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for sharing your very personal experiences with me today. And if you'd like to find out more about Court Achievement's Dementia Initiative, then please check out the Court Achievement website. Yeah.